Hello, my name's Katie Rushworth and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool geometric plant hanger. It's just made out of brass tubes and it's really simple. For this video you will need a tape measure, an adjustable pipe cutter, a swivel hook, some picture hanging wire, some gloves for grip, a permanent marker, some 5mm brass tubing and some wire cutters. My brass tubing is 30 centimetres long and I'm going to cut that in half so it's 15. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I know the base of my pot that I want to hang is 15 centimetres long. So what this will do is it will give me a triangle and solid base that my plant pot can sit on. It's about there. And then using my pipe cutter which is a really cool bit of kit and then this is where my glove comes in because it does help with a bit of grip so you hold the pipe and then rotate the cutter and just keep rotating and twisting a quarter turn and rotating twisting twisting you can kind of feel it going through just about there. So now I've got 15 centimetre lengths and I want nine of those. It's time to start threading my triangles together and the first part I'm going to do is the bottom triangle and this is going to hold the pot. So using picture wire it's just a matter of threading it through. So I've threaded those three pieces through and I've pulled through lots of extra length. I need this extra length, it must be about a metre there. I pulled that through in order for me to be able to have enough to continue making the triangles for the sides. So we can see now, put this together and I'm going to twist my excess around that section just to give me a secure triangle so it stays still. Then I'm going to make the side two and then you can see this makes a side and I'm going to just fasten that around the base again just so it stays nice and secure. my third triangle. As you can see it's starting to take shape now. And there. And I'll secure that back to where I started. Secure this really tightly and just tie my wire in a knot before I use the wire cutters to cut off any excess. Okay, so now you can see how it's all meant to come together. So the sides come up like this, and that's the section that holds the pot. So now I just need my hanging sections, and they go on each end of your outer triangles. Now in order to attach them, I'm going to thread wire down, hook it underneath the wire that you can just see at the top of this triangle, and back up and that will leave all my excess at the top to attach to the swivel hook. Now the pipe is pretty thin so another little tip is to use your wire cutters and give you a really nice clean crisp end because any frayed bits will just kind of cause jamming and it's already tricky enough. So we're going to go down 
So I think we should be about there now. It's just a matter of tying this to the tip of my triangle there and then threading it all the way back through. nice and tightly and that will secure the first hanging arm and then leave plenty of excess at the top and we can fasten that round our swivel hook. Okay, two more to do. So now they're all through, I can bring all my wires together at the top and I'm going to twist them all together just to make one secure wire and that makes it much more manageable when it comes to tying it round your swivel hook. So now we're all neatly in one wire and I'm going to thread it through the bottom of my swivel hook and then wrap it all the way around, make it nice and tight. actually cut off any excess now because it's just getting in the way. You want to get it so the swivel hook is right at the top of where they all come together so it's a little bit tricky but once you've kind of found that top section it'll make all the difference with how it looks and how it hangs. Okay, now I'm just going to nip off that extra there because I have plenty. And there we go. So that's my swivel hook attached. And I'm ready for my plant. There we go. And then it's just a matter of finding somewhere to hang it. That looks really effective. A really quick, simple project that looks pretty fantastic. For more how-to videos, visit silverlinetools.com.